Hi, welcome to the Cocktail Vlog. I'm Steve the Bartender, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make a Negroni float. So I'm gonna break it down into a few components. First of all, I'm gonna make a juniper ice cream. It's gonna be a very basic juniper ice cream. It's pretty much just slightly melted, and I'm gonna mash some junipers through it. If you want to, you can make your own ice cream. Then the second part, I'm gonna make a Negroni syrup by adding gin, campari, and vermouth to sugar and reducing that so it's a nice, thick, bright red syrup. Then I'm gonna build the drink and then garnish with some uh, juniper berries with the Negroni syrup. So first up, enough waffling as usual. Start off with some juniper berries. This is a real ad hoc way of doing it, but it's the first time I've made this float, so I'm just keen to see how it goes. So I've got probably just over 20 juniper berries and I'm just gonna use the mortar and pestle to, to smash them. Probably only gonna use half that because that's a lot of juniper. This ice cream has been out of the freezer for a little bit so it's gone a little bit soft. Just gonna bring out three big spoonfuls and add the, the mortar and pestled juniper berries to the ice cream. Almost looks like mashed Maltesers. Looks kind of chocolatey. As you can see, this is a real ad hoc way of doing it, but it's gonna work, so. So just mix the juniper berries through the ice cream. That's really good. Put that back in the uh, freezer and then onto the next step. Okay, onto step number two, the Negroni syrup. So this one, I'm just gonna do, I don't need a lot of it. So I'm only gonna measure out 45 mil of each ingredient. So 45 mil of gin, 45 mil of sweet vermouth, and 45 mil, one and a half ounces of Campari. And turn on the heat and then add your sugar. I'm kind of winging it really, so if I've got say 135 mils of sugar, I'll add about maybe 60 grams of sugar couple of big tablespoons that looks about right to me so just bring it to the boil stir it through make sure you stir all that uh, sugar through once it starts boiling bring it to a lower heat and just let it reduce overpowering <coughs> whoa might add a little bit more sugar so it's slowly reducing Give it a taste test. Bittersweet, probably more on the bitter side. Might add a little pinch of salt to that as well. Okay, so now I've reduced it a little bit, so it's thickened up and once it cools down, it should hopefully thicken up a little bit further. And I'll just transfer it into a jar to let it cool down. So 
So not sure if you can see, but it is quite an intense red, bittersweet looking color. This is going to go really well. And now onto the final step, actually constructing the drink. So it, I do have the three ingredients here, but it doesn't include all three of them. Uh, reason being is because obviously we've got the Negroni syrup that is quite bitter. Um, so we're going to lower the component of the Campari going to completely remove the vermouth considering that we're using a soda which already has uh, sugar into it. So this particular recipe I'm following is off I believe Thrillist.com. I'll also leave a link to the original recipe so you can check it out yourself. Um, and also make sure you stick around to the end because obviously I'm going to taste the drink and give you feedback and maybe I could have reduced the syrup more or maybe the, could add this uh, sweet vermouth back in. Anyways, so measure out 45 ml of your gin and add that to the glass. Then only 15 ml, half an ounce of your Campari. Then probably top it up halfway, probably about 120 ml, uh, four ounces of your soda. It's up to you. The uh, original recipe did call for a blood orange soda. I'm using a grapefruit, but I think both will work well. Then next, your juniper ice cream. A couple of scoops on top. A little bit of a Negroni syrup drizzled. Oh, this looks so good. And serve it with a stainless steel straw and garnish with a few juniper berries on top. Thank you, Kat. So it definitely doesn't look as nice as the doctored photos that I've seen on the Thrillist website. Um, and obviously they've used the blood orange soda, so this does have more of a color. Um, but theirs looks more intense. There's, there's more ice cream. I should have made more ice cream. But they have a Negroni float. Cheers. Actually, it's not bad. It's, uh, I'm gonna pause this. I'm gonna take a quick photo and then I'll come back to you because I wanna try it with the ice cream we'll mix through. Okay, so post photo, I did do some doctoring myself. I added a little bit of extra Campari, about 15 mils, so I could give a, a, a nice redder color for the photo. Um, yeah, let's, let's give it a try and I'll give you some feedback starting to look a little bit messy as this ice cream is melting but that's the beauty of a um, float I guess it's it's very very bitter very rich very very forward with the Campari um, obviously I've, I've added a little bit more After stirring it, definitely improves. It's that, like, I think there was a little bit of Campari sitting on the bottom. You get that creamy texture coming through. It's, it's really quite rich. Would I make this again? Once that I've tried it, probably not. Um, do I recommend you try it? If you're a hardcore Negroni fan, then yeah, sure. Um, with, the, with the syrup, it does look delicious and sweet, but it's just, it, it packs a punch. It's super bitter. Um, so I'd probably dial down the, uh, I'd increase the sugar or, or dial down the Campari component. Once it's mixed through, it's definitely a lot better. And it, it's a fun 
different way to enjoy a Negroni. It looks a mess, but thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon for another cocktail video. Cheers.